So this was definitely supposed to be a twist out, but it turned into a wash and go, but hear me out. It technically was still a review for the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore line. So this is the result from it. This is like day three, day five hair day three day five day three or day four hair i'm still loving it like it's getting bigger so if you want to see how i achieve this look and the review on these products then stay tuned let go i first started with the shea moisture jamaican black castor oil shampoo it had a thin consistency to it like almost like the castor or how it is um i just did my roots i had already did one section of my hair but i thought i would show you guys i just started with the roots um you could definitely feel the cleansing of my scalp being clean this i confession i've already used this like three times and i love it it had good slip i could finger detangle with it but i don't finger detangle with shampoo i just was showing you guys here that you can finger detangle with the Jamaican black castor oil shampoo. Um, I really loved the consistency of it and the lather of it. Next, I used the Jamaican black castor oil strengthening and restore conditioner. I think I really enjoy pumps. The conditioner had the same consistency as the shampoo and I always start at my ends when I'm applying conditioner or deep treatment mask. The conditioner melted literally into my hair. The slip was also amazing on this. It was so easy to detangle. Now I do detangle with regular conditioner. It was so easy to detangle. It just melted into my hair. Like I literally, y'all, I love this shampoo and conditioner i love this line period but just working my conditioner through next up it was deep treatment time i had already sectioned my hair just showing you guys my curl definition that the shampoo and the conditioner left me with the deep treatment mask the consistency was thick it looks like peanut butter to me the whole line looks like peanut butter but yeah um, I start at my ends as like the rest of the products, the deep treatment mask melted into my hair instantly. My hair instantly felt soft. It defined my curls really like literally y'all look at it. It's just so soft. It's amazing. It was so moisturizing. I just added a little more because I'm heavy handed. Well, I didn't use that much, but yeah, it smelled like. Well, I didn't know what it smelled like, but my dad said it smelled like cake batter, and now I can't get that smell out of my head. So, so. I am shampooed, conditioned, and detangled, and deep conditioned. I went ahead and bought a new microfiber towel. I was at five below. But this is my hair after my deep conditioner is rinsed out curls are pretty defined it's very moisturized very moisturized and very soft the products that i'm going to be using i'm doing a twist out and the products i'm going to be using is water water jamaican black castor oil strengthen and restore leave-in conditioner it has shea butter peppermint and apple cider vinegar in it and we all know that's healthy. Y'all, my curls are like defined with no product in it. Like literally nothing. And these are the results I get. This is why y'all need to deep condition, okay? It's important. Once a week, you need to deep condition. But this is what the leave-in looks like. 
for my styler, I'm going to use the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Styling Lotion. It also has shea butter, peppermint, and apple cider vinegar. The shampoo, the conditioner, and the deep treatment mask all have that in there. This is a 8 fluent ounce bottle, and I believe I paid $9.99 for it. Um, I've actually used it once already, and I think my sister has used it once, and I have pretty good I it's like right here so that's pretty good I used it for a braid out and I'm probably gonna add the wet line extreme gel to lock it in for extra moisture so let's so I started off with the back section I always start in four sections and I just took a little piece to get ready to do my twist out. Um, the first product that I used was water, of course. And with the twist out, you didn't need, you don't really need to like drench it, but I still put a decent amount of water. And next was the leave-in conditioner. It also had a thick consistency and it smelled the same like cake batter. So I just raked that through. The next product that I used was the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Styling Lotion. And I used about a quarter size amount. Went ahead and raked that in. The curl definition that I got from that was pretty amazing with those two together. Next was the Wet Line Extreme Gel. So at this point, I need to explain myself on why half of my head is has product in it and there's no twist well after i added the wet line extreme gel in i noticed that my curl definition was popping with the combo of the leave-in conditioner the styling lotion and the wet line extreme gel y'all do y'all see my curls it screamed bomb wash and go so the inner me was like shay just do a wash and go and you can do a twist out with these products another time you are the wash and go life just captured me in that's why you guys see no twist out i'm so sorry but if y'all can see the definition of these curls and how it's coming out y'all just just wait on like y'all do y'all see this bomb definition like that don't scream bomb wash and go to y'all like it ain't screaming? No? Just me? Okay. So, as always, with the wash and go, after I put all my product in, I sit underneath the dryer for 30 to 45 minutes to get my hair about 90% dry. And then I come in with the blow dryer, medium heat, low, to stretch it out, break the gel cast, and dry my roots out. Just put it in little sections and go from there that's pretty much all i did you guys pretty much know the process of it most of my hair was dry so it didn't take me that long to stretch it out break the cast and all that other good stuff but i'll let you guys continue to watch the process So the twist out that I was supposed to do, yeah, it turned into a wash and go because when I put the leave-in, the styling lotion, and the wet line extreme gel, and my curls came out defined, I was like, yeah, I'm just going to do a wash and go, and I'm going to try the twist out again with the same products in my next video. Y'all, these wash and goes are like drawing me in right now like literally drawing me in but do y'all see the definition Whew. so overall i would definitely use 
the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo, Conditioner, and Deep Conditioner. My hair felt clean, my scalp felt clean, and clearly, wet line and the styling lotion go together in the, the leave-in conditioner, cause baby, yes, it's full. This is like, what, 30 minute hair and I'm already loving it. So I would definitely recommend those products. I promise y'all, I will give y'all a twist out video using those products. I don't know if it'll be next, but it'll be somewhere in there. I'll definitely do a twist out next though. I don't know if it'll be with those products, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. New videos do come out every Friday. My previous videos will be in the description box below. And I don't know if y'all picked up on it yet, but I love hoodies and this particular hoodie is one of my other friends brand um she's my best friend she has a when you pray line her and her mother this is do it scare meaning whatever you have fear in like heights say if you have fear of heights and you want to jump out of an airplane do it anyway do it scared because if you do it scared you'll get it done her information will be linked in the description box. You can go to when the letter U pray.com. They have hoodies, socks, hats, scarves, phone cases, coffee mugs, lots of things. But that will be linked in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.